Well, hi there, everyone. I'm News 8 meteorologist Liam Healy, and I got a question for you. What would change if we didn't change the clocks every year? Well, it might be a bigger change than some of us really begin to think that it is. So right now, this is our current setup here. Our latest sunrise every single year is around 742 in the morning, and then our earliest sunset is around 435 in the afternoon. Now, these both happen during the winter, not particularly on the same day, but generally they're pretty close to each other. And then our earliest sunrise somewhere right around 530 AM in the summer, 854 PM is going to be our latest sunset. Now, if we switch to permanent daylight saving time, which we're just entering now as we're getting into March, our latest sunrise would go to 842 AM. We would not see the sun before 8 AM for nearly two months during the winter if we switch to springing ahead officially forever here across Rochester. Our earliest sunset, though, jumping up to 535. I know a lot of people do not like 430 sunsets. This might be a big change for you that could be a positive. And then our earliest sunrise and latest sunset, the ones that happened during the summer, they wouldn't change. We're already in daylight saving time for these two periods. So generally, well, that would say just about the same. Now, permanent standard time, flipping things back on their head here, our latest sunrise and earliest sunset would say the same as what we have now. But look at this change as we head into the summer. Our earliest sunrise would go all the way to 430 in the morning and we would never see a sunset past 8 p.m. again here in Rochester. Our latest sunset would always end right at about 754. Now, there's a lot of questions and pros and cons to come with all of these. Whether we stay with the current system, we move on to permanent daylight saving time or move to permanent standard time. In particular, right now, there's actually a bill in committee in the New York State Senate to go to permanent daylight saving time that is one of many bills that have come and gone over the years, whether in New York at the federal level or all the way across the country. This is usually a question and a bill that gets brought up in most state senates or even the Congress of the United States of America. But it's up to you to really decide for your own self. It's everyone's going to be different with different schedules and different needs. What would actually work best for you?